Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of real world problems, specifically how we can write them from inequalities or equations and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic inequality here, 3.5x plus 42 is greater than or equal to 150. Now, how can we create that a new story problem from just this basic inequality? Well, let's think uh, basic things we would need for our inequality story problem. So we're going to need a who. So typically there's always a name, so I'm just going to put myself in there. So if you're having to write one yourself, just put yourself in there. The biggest thing is going to be this what. So what am I doing? And how can I put that into a problem situation? We'll take a look. We don't have an equal sign. Sometimes it might be an equal sign. We have a greater than or equal to. So that makes it an inequality. So this 3.5x plus 42 is trying to get to 150. And it's fine with being greater than. So it could be equal to 150 or it could be more than 150. What you just don't want is less than 150. So an easy way to think about writing a story problem is to think about money, right? So let's say that this is this is $150. So I'm trying to save up money because we've got the greater than or equal to sign, which means I'm trying to get up to this amount. So this greater than or even a greater than or equal to sign is helpful for writing a situation about saving for a certain amount. Saving for 150 bucks, uh, let's just say sneakers. All right, so there are some really nice sneakers that I want to buy. And so they cost $150. And so I can start my story problem with just that basic set of information. So let's start with uh, the first sentence, let's put the character in there. Aaron is, what is he doing? Saving his money for, and let's go ahead and put that, that first constant in here. Now this constant, remember these constants are fixed. They're not changing. So I've got two constants, 150, and also I've got that 42, which we'll deal with in a minute. But that 150 price is not changing. The only thing changing right, is my uh, my 3.5x, because that x is going to change that. So saving is money for $150 worth of sneakers. All right, so now we've got that down. What we can do now is we need to look at our other constant. So this 42 is just sitting there, and it's going to be added to whatever total I get from the 3.5x. So that's probably going to be starting amount. So usually when you're doing problems like this, you're starting with something. So he already has. And we'll say well, he already has saved $42. OK, so I've taken care of my 150. I've taken care of my 42. So this 3.5x, right? So obviously x is our variable. And I'm just going to kind of go with allowance. That's an easy one. So x will be the number of weeks. And so this is going to be my coefficient is what I am multiplying my variable for. And so we will say he gets, let's say I get a pretty lousy allowance, $3.50 a week for allowance. All right, so now I've got all of my numbers in there. Only thing I'm missing is my x, my variable. So then let's put this into a question. Um, how many weeks? And then I need to define my weeks. So typically what we'll do here is we'll put an x to kind of say weeks is going to be uh, represented by this variable, will it take for him, and then let's just say what he's trying to get, to have enough money, and then we've got it for the sneakers. And that is how we write a word problem.